Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early. We've got some red on the board on the 15 minute time frame. Interesting. The daily, uh, you got TON, which is the Telegram coin, up 23% today. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be checking in on the markets right now. Kind of give you an overview before I kind of lay into some positions here today. Today is Tuesday and Bitcoin is most likely historically to close green on Tuesdays. Thursdays are typically a red day just to give you a little heads up there. And I want to um, quickly kind of go over a few positions and what I'm looking at in the market today, we said is CP lie day. So let's see if the numbers are out yet. It is 620, it should be out. Uh, inflation, I don't know how they're saying inflation is going down. Honestly, I, I don't, uh, I don't, oh, that's not good. So inflation came in hotter than expected at 3.2%, core inflation 3.8% and month over month 0.4%. So higher than expected. Let's check in on the <coughs> CME rate hike calculator, the rate the good old rate hike calculator. So this is what the futures market is pricing in. Um, so we're at a 99% chance that at the when the March 20th meeting, it's um, why am I uh, now 1%. So interest rates, it says that they're going to be the same. So they're not pricing in a rate hike, um, not a rate cut, but a, um, they're expecting that we keep interest rates at where they're at right now, this 5.25 to 5.5 .5 and 1% chance of a rate cut. So that's neither bearish nor bullish, I would say. I did want to bring our attention to Mr. Benke right now. Benke is the DEX on Avalanche. And you might say, well, why, why are we looking at that right now? Well, AVAX or Avalanche, not talking about the snow here. I'm talking about this highly esteemed internet technology called Avalanche. And could you call this an ascending triangle or is it part of a greater cup and handle, which is what I am leaning towards right now. If you look at this on the weekly time frame, um, I guess that doesn't work either. It's not technically a cup and handle unless this is the breakout pivot. So this could be massive. Actually, um, let's call it a cup and handle. So here's your cup, here's your handle. How do you get the measure move off of something like this where you measure from the top of the cup to the bottom of the cup and um, measure move on this big guy. As long as we are above this last uh, major higher low coming in at 32.61, I'd be targeting the top side of the range at 143. To put that in perspective, we're talking about 345% for Mr. Avalanche. That's looking nice. So I will, um, well, I do have a position on right now. Let's see what else is on the board. Synthetics, our trade setup, uh, since we longed it down here off the top side of the range and very similar kind of setup. You can see here's the cup, right? Here is the cup. I used to never get this. Like, what is a cup and handle? Here's your handle, okay? And what is the measure move off of this lovely formation here? Well, from there to the bottom of the cup, uh, you're looking at a breakout level here. Wow, that synthetics, uh, big moves up. If Bitcoin continues to stay bullish, which it looks pretty bullish to me, I mean, first TP is going to be at this zone at 714. Oh, look at my whales coin up 40% today. 
Holy smokes. Whales, 40%. I did get a little bit of that one. Um, what else do I want to bring up on the board today? Mr. Donald Trump. Did you guys hear it in the news? Oh, injective finally breaking out. This one looks like it's going to continue. I just can't. I can't not be in this. I, I gotta, I'm chomping at the bit. Cup and handle formation, let's go. Injective, so I'm gonna do it while I'm on stream. I'm gonna take a little bit of the magic sauce and add it here to, not Neutron, INJ. Oh, what a beautiful day it's gonna be trading in the neighborhood, as Mr. Rogers used to say. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, yes. Finally getting the breakout of this thing, and uh, let's see how much more she has to go. So, oh, not a good time to just ape into something unless you're fairly confident that this is, in fact, the breakout. We've been trading this one for some time. Um, as an emergency, I will put my stop right below the prior hourly low. So this is either going to continue right now to the moon, or it's... Uh, well, it's already up 700 bucks, so I'll take that. My stacks position, I want to review that with you guys as well. Stacks should do well when Bitcoin does well. And uh, more importantly, let's, let's see what the target is going to be. Again, cup and handle. A lot of cup and handles out there. People must be drinking coffee. I'm drinking Celsius. Got to do it here. It's early. And so inflation came out hotter than expected. Let's check in on the stock market. I'm going to get a quick target for for this one, which is going to be right there at about 53 bucks. That's the conservative target. Uh, let's let's do a little more aggressive because this thing is set to rip. All right. Volatility is low. It is now expanding. We're getting the Stokes crossing up to the upside. This is looking like a clean breakout so far so good. Um, and we've been waiting for this one for some time. You can see the volume pouring in on the hourly time frame. And what we wanna do is see this start to print red like that. That'd be a good uh, continuation signal. Um, and I do like this one for a bit of a just massive launch to the upside. We, are, we, we tested the trend line two times. We grabbed the liquidity down there. Man, I wish I had a bigger position on. Um, all right. Following up on Bitcoin from yesterday, uh, looks like Bitcoin is amidst a bit of a breakout. <clears throat> daily closed bullish. And we said if the daily did close anywhere like this, um, now as long as we are above this pivot at 66,000, we are going to expect continuation. So where's the daily target? Um, you know, real quick, I'm looking at 75 A quick move up to 75, 731. That'll look good there. Rune is still going to the moon. And this is very similar to what I expect for Injective to do. Um, honestly, Rune probably hits the 4236. The next one on my list that I'm looking to get uh, a good entry on is going to be Casper. Because Casper, the friendly ghost, I had a really nice position in there yesterday. I clicked the wrong button last night. So you get trading from your phone. Horrible idea, guys. Horrible idea. But um, still down. And this is where you want to expect that continuation drive to be off of the green 55. So this one is a bit of a laggard at the moment. I want to look at another chart, Casper. Let's look at Casper on KuCoin because it's probably got a lot more price history. Mr. Casper, the friendly ghost. And that was the move I was looking for yesterday. So breaking the 10 line, retesting it. Let's go, Casper. I'm going to add to my position there. Um, and then I'm going to set those TPs, stop losses. That's what you'll notice. The other guys out there, nobody does this stuff live. Nobody puts their stop losses and their take profits in on their live stream. So make sure you smash the but <laughs> like button if you guys do enjoy some of this Higher term time frame trading action and um, higher term time frame trading action, whatever that means. That means we're trading based off of an hourly and Casper. Okay, yep, that was the last throwback. 
right there, fake out the double toppers. So I'm gonna add 10% of my stack, make sure it's on isolated 3X leverage, and here we go. And I mark it in, I hate when I do that, but oh well. Um, just remember limit order in is better. Market order is if you can't get your order in because the price keeps hopping above your entry level. Um, so where do I want this one to go? All right, Casper, only 28,000. No, I want to get more because when this does rip, I'm expecting this one to head up to about 22. So essentially we got the higher high. Uh, now it's a lower low on the hourly time frame. Let's see what the four hour says. Four hours getting its last chance of glory to, um, <clears throat> to rise above the ashes, right? So looking at this consolidation from the breakout level, let's say here's your range low, here's the top of the range. Um, yeah, we're bouncing off the support. This is the breakout level, this is why I have this line drawn in. And essentially, as long as we're above this pivot on the daily or even on a four hour time frame. It is going to look good for continuation of the upside. Um, also bouncing off the green 55. Again, here's the pivot on the daily. I would say that's the pivot right there. Uh, that's a little bit more conducive to what we are looking for. And if we do break down back down in here, right, with a lower low and a lower high that you'd be targeting all the way back to the bottom side of the range, I'd consider that a major buying opportunity. Um, we are just trying to front run some of these signals as it looks like the overall greater market is starting to pulse to the upside, even though, and, and this is good. Like I want to buy when it's red, not when it's bright green and everything's going to the moon. Let's check out some of those meme coins because those are kind of the next thing on the list for some of the great, oh, so here's a new one I just uh, got this morning. PNG, P E N G. We got Mr. Penguin. Uh, let's, you know, like for memes out there, like this is one that I could say, okay. Um, you know, the picture of the penguin is not that ugly. It's, you know, it's a penguin. Let's save the penguins, right? We got dogs, we got cats, we got frogs. It used to be dogs, not frogs. That was, uh, that was, you know, good old Pepe. And maybe we're going to rotate to penguins. Super low market cap, high risk. Don't do it. You're probably going to lose your money. Sinkus. Another one to keep your eye on, guys, is this Sinkus coin. Um, had a greater, I mean, just huge rip to the upside this is a super low market cap good narrative coin um, but there's a massive gap down here so i wanted to get involved in this one yesterday but um, because of this gap down here i said you know what i'm gonna hold off and i mean sometimes the gaps really like to get filled sometimes they take a long time to get filled all right we went over bitcoin we went over some altcoin the other one i've had my eyes on is this one mr when when moon when moon I, I i don't even know what this meme coin is but i do know this is that this is where you expect those continuation plays but we did break with a solid red below the green 55. momentum will cross up today above 274. we're currently above there now oh this is i'm sorry this is the four hour time frame and volatility is low. It will be expanding from the lowest level ever. I do like this one. I mean, it's either going to go up big right now or it's going to go down big because the next vector candle, which is what? It is the high volume candles that, and by the way, if you want to uh, set up trading view, just like I've got it set up here, you can go to bitcoinadvisors.com by the way if you want to put bitcoin in your retirement account rocket that retirement account to the moon make sure you head over here and get your free investor guide there you can also go to our resource center 
And you can learn about bullish and bearish divergence. You can look at um, that. You can look at that. And more importantly, you can look at how to set up trading. View. Look at that stupid picture of me. I don't know who took that. I don't know how it got there, but apparently I'm stuck. And that is where you can learn how to set up trading view just for free, for free. Um, but again, bringing our attention to Mr. Wencoin and the fact that meme coins are literally outperforming everything in the market pretty much right now. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101 how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Um, and some would say that that's an indicator that the top is in. Meme coins are outperforming everything, but I think that everybody's just a degen at heart right now. And the more experienced people know that uh, there is gonna be some more upside. Look at Super, Super Duper Coin. Uh, another one, gaming project, four hour, maybe flipping around here. Do I see any reason why it would flip around right now? Uh, what happened here? I don't know what this is. All right, how would I look to trade this one? So you got a nice little trend line here and using my fib tool, that's what I was looking from on a bearish retracement. Yep, we are bouncing off to 0.5. You could consider this a bit of a W formation. Does not have the right volume signature. Never mind, never mind. But part of our trading strategy, if you go to cryptcourses.com, I'm gonna do one last shill. Cryptcourses.com, learn how to stack sats. Bitcoin, Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. Again, we believe in Bitcoin as the long-term savior of the financial system. But if you really wanna make money, altcoins are where it's at. At most right now, guys, uh, another thing to consider is Going back to our general thesis here is that what? Bitcoin hits our target of 240,000 over the next 80 weeks. Go back and watch some of the other videos if you don't know why, we've outlined it many, many times, but from here at most, right? Bitcoin does a 250% gainer. Okay, that's nice. Um, what would be more fun? What would be more fun and an easy play compared to Bitcoin would be Ethereum, the number two cryptocurrency by market cap, the DeFi ultimate long-term OG, Mr. Ethereum, right? So Ethereum, the 4236 is coming in at 16,000 and the measure move off of this uh, massive ascending triangle or not ascending, it's more like a horizontal triangle. Measure move. Let's see if we tag that one. So boom, I'm gonna put that in at 9,542. Um, looks good like continuation to me. Looks like continuations to me and this thing just isn't stopping. It's just up and to the right. So you would expect some of the additional coins uh the ethereum based tokens which have been lagging which does give us the bias that hey there's opportunity there right as the money flows from bitcoin to ethereum all the e ethereum ecosystem coins plus the meme coins what you know guys this is the funnest time in the market 
that uh, you could ask for. I hope you guys join us. Join the trading school. Join uh, join the Discord. Get involved. All you got to do is focus on trading for the next year. You have the opportunity to make some life-changing money. Um, that's it, guys. That's it. I think I am going to bring our attention back to Ethereum Bitcoin again. Um, confirmed kind of breakout reversal here on the daily time frame. We broke the major um, resistance, right? So, we, you know, this consider this a deviation below the bottom side of the range. We deviated below, gosh, several times. Let's look at it on the weekly time frame. I cannot take that right now. Get, sorry. Okay. All right. I do have to get to my day here now. I think the, uh, another one, uh, interesting coin here, Mr. Noss. So blue through the four, two, three, six. I don't know. This one may never, may never stop going. Uh, AR, um, continuing to the moon. Zeno, I believe this is a privacy coin. Look at that. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Absolutely smashed after having a massive green day. But that does tell me that uh, perhaps more upside continuation to come. Yeah, this one's gearing up for a move, guys. And as long as we're above this wick. So, I mean, how far is that from the bottom here? Only 16%, right? So kind of caught in the middle of the range. You've got the silver cross present. That's when the 21 crosses the green 55. That's part of our trading school strategy. Again, buying off the green 55 on low volatility or declining volatility. And even though we're below the green 55, it took me a long time to figure this out. Even though we're below the green 55, I would still just consider this a test or, or buying off the green 55. So you're not going to get it right perfect every time. But um, not only that is this, this, you know, could potentially be a nice little W formation. Uh, it's a little bit weak. It's a little bit weak, but um, this is a bottoming candle. This is a, you know, grab all the liquidity at the bottom side of the range and then smash it back to the upside after a big run like that. Zeno, I believe it's a privacy coin. All right, so we went over everything. Uh, last thing I want to check in on is, so Ben Key's going to be in a, a DEX that is going to support the Avalanche ecosystem. Current market cap, 129 million. So I do like this one um, for some upside continuation. Probably going to follow AVAX. AVAX is a midst of breakout. Uh, next one up, whoops. Oh yeah. I just wanted to check in on NVIDIA, which inflation came out hotter than expensive, hotter than expensive, higher than expected. So what does that tell us? Well, I don't think they're going to raise rates. I don't think Jerome Powell cares. I don't think he cares if inflation continues to go higher. Um, and they're just going to continue to fluff the fake numbers. We call it, we don't call it the CP lies report for any reason other than we know that they're lying and it's, um, dog with hat rolling over a little bit. GRT, another strong one, another strong one. And I said, Nvidia want to keep an eye on this guy because this is the AI monster in the stock market. And yes, unfortunately, the stock market does rule the market and it is, um, you know, going to be highly correlated to Bitcoin still until something changes until we're proven otherwise. Uh, this does look like it wants to roll over. And if we get if we make a lower low on the stochastic here, this is on a 12 hour daily is Still trending though. It's still, you know, as long as we are not leaving the critical zone and making a lower low here on the stochastic, it does have a chance to bounce. Peppy, Peppy coin. This is the frog, the frog meme coin. This is where people made a ton of money buying frogs. 
Sinkus, 20% rally for the day, and perhaps this is gonna be a bit of a higher low. I'm gonna keep my eye on this one. Again, it's a narrative coin. What is Sinkus, right? S Y N. Low market cap, 176 million. What does it do? It's available on Mexi. We got a link in the description below, my favorite exchange to trade on. Um, Sinkus, what does it do? Of course, coin market cap kind of sucks compared to coin gecko because the information just seems to be less. Sinkus news about Sinkus. And apparently I think they're paying some huge yeah, huge dividends on this thing. Um, I'm gonna check it on CoinGecko to see if we can get a little better take on this. Mr. Sinkus. Huge rally for the year. This is the buy the dip opportunity, if you ask me. I guess that is, that is your retracement, probably bouncing off the 786 right there. Where can you buy Sinkus? Okay, available on Mexi. And what does it do? What does it do? Trading volume. Fully diluted, blah, blah, blah. How to add Sinkus to Medic Mask. That doesn't help. Okay, I just touted you up Sinkus. What does it do? Tokenomics. It doesn't say what it does. All right, I'm gonna do some research on that one for you guys and get back to you. Um, I forgot the narrative, but news, similar coins, historical overview. I don't see. Gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to delete this out of the video because I'm just drawing a blank here. Anyways, um, other than that, guys, we're gonna keep an eye on Nvidia. We're gonna keep an eye on the interest rate hike tool. We're gonna keep an eye on Bitcoin as long as Bitcoin again is closing above this pivot here. Uh, you know, call it uh, 67,000. I would say uh, the next stop is gonna be 75, 775. Um, if volatility starts to tick up again, and we are in the critical zone, you can see this is healthfully in the critical zone, trending price action. Let's check out on the two day, same thing, four day, same thing, momentum to the upside. The five day is going to cross down here in three days. Uh, so we got three more days left on the five day. And wow, we just got a massive move off of Bitcoin here. We said it was gonna be 40%. The average move is 40%. First standard deviation, a bit more. Oh yeah, so we measured it from the, the flip up, which is, sorry, when volatility got above 25%, which is this candle right here. So we're just 55%, yeah, we're there pretty much. Um, so it's getting close. The market's getting overheated. It's not going to go straight up forever. There is going to be a nice correction at some point. Definitely looking to for that next higher low on the daily time frame to be a major buying opportunity. We want to see it pull back and range sideways so our altcoins can continue to run. That's it from me today, guys. I hope you have a blessed one, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.